afternoon. Uh, welcome to Southside. Uh, I am officially the grumpy old man of the venue. This is my 16th year in the Fringe. Um, I was last performing in this room in 1997, 10 years ago, over there in 98 and here in 95 and 96. I am a magician. The doors are over there. I'll give you three seconds. <laughs> All right, yeah, excellent. Well, I'd, uh, I'm going to kick off fast. I'd like to show you something that many of you will not have seen before. This is called a Scotsman's Purse. <laughs> it's called a Scotsman's Purse because it is empty. <laughs> it's one of the more annoying cultural stereotypes we have to deal with. Uh, I'm not going to stand for that. Being a Scottish magician, I'm going to reach into the purse to produce a coin with which I shall perform my second magic effect because obviously producing a coin from nowhere means nothing to you, sir. <laughs> my favorite trick in the whole wide world is a very strong chance you will have seen this before. Do you know about gravity? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you've seen it before, you know it all about it. Gravity is where you drop something and it falls down. What I've found is if you start here, and you turn your hand upside down, the coin falls up into this hand. Everyone on my planet can do it. <laughs> Stunts, what the? <laughs> I'll show you that one more time. Start there, turn hand upside down, coin falls up into this hand. That's all the show is, the same trick. Four <laughs> times. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I get the impression though that you want more, more from your, from your coin magic. And I shall give you more with the aid of my white kerchief, which is an old Victorian word for a snot rag. Look it up, I had to. I take the coin, I cover it with my white kerchief. You'll see that? Yeah. Wrap the coin up in my kerchief, I give it three squeezes. I give it a whack, I give it a whoop, and I give it a whack. <laughs> And that enables me to pull the coin through the handkerchief because there is a hole in the handkerchief. <laughs> Can you see the hole in the handkerchief? No, no, not at all. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I would be worried. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'll show you. What's your name, sir? Crow. Crow, I'll show you. The hole is just here. All right. Okay? Place the coin into the hole yeah. and it falls in. Oh, that was cool. Thank you. I hate to think that. <laughs> <laughs> I can bring it back whenever I want, it's just here, okay? Just give a little rub, and the coin returns. <laughs> right. Now, you guys in the back not, might not be able to see this coin, so for you, well, this one is dead. Oh. I don't know what's more demeaning, the fact that I have to do this to earn a living, or I can actually earn a living by doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, um, basically, short and sweet, I just want to give you a flavor of the stuff that I do. That's the opening uh, of my show. Uh, it's on a 10 to 9 uh, across in the, the main zoo venue. It's great to be back in the fringe. It's great to be back in this building. Big thanks to James. He knows why. Uh, and enjoy the rest of the lunch. Enjoy August. My name is Ian. Thank you. <laughs>